Good morning everybody, this is Mel Sol on a nippy, chilly Saturday morning. Today is Saturday, December the 17th and on a Saturday we talk about the short game. Short game Saturdays is what we call it. And today I want to talk about chipping technique. And one of the things I constantly see with my students is a breakdown of the left wrist going through and they kind of scoop the chip a little bit. So um, I use a teaching aid called a wrist tactic and this is something that you can practice at home. The reason I'm doing this in December is in December, January and February while you are snowed in at home this is the perfect time to work on technique both with your chipping and your putting. Next Saturday we're going to talk about putting technique that you can practice at home as well. So this Saturday chipping technique Ideally, you want to create a straight line down your lead arm and shaft. And what the goal is, is to try and create a pendulum with the fulcrum being your left shoulder. So really, you could stand and practice even with one hand and make sure there's no breakdown. Now, this little device, and it's available on my website, is called a tactic, a wrist tactic. You can hear there's a, it makes a noise when I break the wrist. So if I'm chipping and I break the wrist, you're going to hear a click, you're going to know that your technique was not very good. So what you want is going through, and you'll notice if I don't have any wrist, the club will stay nice and low to the ground as well. One of the key aspects of good chippers is they keep the club low to the ground. You'll never see somebody doing this and getting their club coming up. So you want to try and keep the club low, and the way you do it is by no breakdown at all. Sometimes if you're outdoors, if you can go out onto your back porch or where you can stick an alignment stick down, if you're in your basement, put something in front of you, maybe a, the back of a chair or something over here so that you can move your hand forward and let your hand hit the back of the chair or hit an alignment stick, something that's going to make you, because what happens when the wrist breaks down is the butt end of the club stops. So as I come through here, if the butt end stops and this goes through, I get that position. If I keep the butt end of the club moving, then I'm going to get no breakdown. So you want to make sure that you keep the hands moving through the ball. Try and keep the speed of the grip and the club head moving at the same speed. So when you're practicing and you're hitting shots, you can see when I'm finished, now I chipped, that ball's gone maybe 30, 35 feet. You can see my club stayed nice and low to the ground. That's one of the things you want to check. So through the winter, work on this. No breakdown with the left wrist, club head staying low, consistent ball strike ball position slightly behind. The ideal way you put your two feet together and you put the ball right between your toes and you turn both toes about 45 degrees, that's going to put the ball just behind the toes of your back foot. That would be the perfect ball position and then by pushing my hands forward to create that straight line, now I'm creating the real good technique that I want. If you work on that 2017 is going to be a great chipping year for you.